Hi everyone, this is Nirmali again coming for my new course in Python for the intermediate learners and it is based on Pyplot and data visualization. My first course got many positive comments and I hope all of you will accept my this course also with all the positivity. This course will help you to learn data visualization properly and that can be implemented for decision making in any business field. Do enroll my course and I hope it will help you to make your career because the coding is very important and Python is very popular. I have been in this field of teaching for last 25 years. I will try my best to make it simple so that you can learn it very easily. Thank you. So this is the program I have written here. First line you see import numpy as np as you know about the numpy array and numpy array we have created the object np and matplotlib.pyplot as pl. Here matplotlib is the library and pyplot is the collection of functions module it is a and pl is the object. So for x coordinate we will use the numpy array we will create an array from 1 to 5 with line space that is with 6 elements and y will be the value of all the elements that is the logarithm logarithmic value and after that we will use the plot command to display the line graph. So this is very easy to write the program after that you can see when I click on this run then in the right hand side we have seen this and here in the x axis you can see the values and y axis that is for y coordinate. So a line chart that is a line chart or line graph is a type of chart which displays information as a series of data point called markers connected by straight line segments with pyplot a line chart is created using plot function. So here you can see I have written with the object pl dot plot x and y. So x and y value you can take any value. Here I am using a set of value that is in the form of array, numpy array. And basics are line chart, bar chart, scatter plot, pie chart, histogram, box plot. These are the general ones. The first statement will be same that is import and matplotlib.pyplot that is the by def default one that must be used before writing python program along with the py pyplot we are using any numpy or pandas also we can use make we have to make sure that we have to import them also with the import command say suppose uh, all of you are familiar with list and all these things we can use uh, the list also without using any numpy suppose we are not not going to use any array only simple list we will use for that suppose i am using a equal to a list of five elements and for the second set again i am going to use one more list with the same size uh, this time suppose I am going to give 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then with this one simply pl is the object and plot function is used for this one. And for that instead of xy, okay we may give here you can change the value here from a to x and b to y. So only the value this value can be used any 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 kind of that is the data type that is present in the python so this time you can see here the line graph it became slightly different from the previous one because the set values are different so here i am giving from 1 to 6 so the values here it is shown 1 2 3 4 5 6 and in the y axis it is from 3 as the minimum value here the second second list is minimum value is 3 so minimum value is 3 and the maximum value is 7 
so it is very easy to draw a line chart using pie plot now you can see here there is no label given here and it is very easy to add a label for the x axis as well as the y axis so some values uh, suppose uh, we suppose we want to change this one from 1 2 3 4 5 these are the suppose the roll number and we can change the names here with say x here we will change this to y we will change it to z we will change it to p also to q here you see the data has been changed one two three four five it becomes same and this become the new data that i have changed for the value for y for that for labeling we can use the label command for x we have to use the x label pl dot x label the value to be given say i am giving here roll number and for y axis i am giving y label as say alphabets now run it here you see you can see here it is shown the labels it is coming the name of the x label and y label also so this one also new i have written a new one and here the x value i have given the year names and the year value and y for y1 it is the amount of petrol that is price of petrol for the respective years for 1999 it is 45 rupees 2003 55 6 65 10 76 and 14 80 and the label has been given here year and rupees price of petrol in rupees now running here you see the it is in increasing order only and with the label it is shown so i think it is very easy to draw one first point wise you have to remember that if you have installed anaconda then by default the matplotlib will be there and matplotlib is a library of python where pyplot is a module where collection of function you will get to draw any figure like line graph bar graph or different type of graphs that is for representing a data representing data in graphical form so that we have learned about the line one line graph second thing we can learn that we have learned already how to plot using this one and then label also we have learned now we will learn the so function that is also a function within pie plot and secondly we will learn the size of the figure unit wise what will be the width what will be the length for that we can use the plot size and grid and for that we will use the grid common and that to be given as true or false also we can change the color also color of the data one and two we can give the one and two two line graphs also we can you uh, draw let's see what will be the figure size for the figure size object name dot the keyword that is figure within bracket we will give the fixed size these are the key keyword you have to remember fixed size is equal to there will be two parameter i am giving here 15 and 8 that is the 15 unit wide for the x coordinates and 8 units long for y coordinate let me run it so you see the size of the x become wide because i have assign the x x coordinate size as 15 units now the same thing we will learn how to give the color 
different color here while writing this plot function we can also add some colors b for blue z for green r for red m for magenta y for yellow k for black c for cyan w for white so here i will change the color from by default it comes as black i will give it as r here you can see after adding the value r it is changed from blue to red so that is also possible that means we can change the color of the graph also for r it is suppose i am giving here c it will be changed to cyan color similarly we can give different color for the line graph next we will learn how to draw scatter charts to draw scatter charts we will use two functions of pyplot library that is plot function and scatter function in this one if we change it to plot a b and instead of this one if i write r o let's see here you see only the dots are coming without joining it so it looks like some points it is visible in scattered way and in case of if we do not give anything here x y followed by r o in that case we will see and we can give also here the size like say it is known as actually the marker so marker size is equal to say 8 here you see the dot size become increase and this way the line that was joining the dots it becomes invisible so if we do not specify the line style separately along with the line color then it will become like the scattered way and it will be more clear if i do not give this ro and i if i give only r plus what will be the difference you see this becomes like plus sign it is coming plus sign the dots become plus signs but instead of giving marker size is equal to 8 if i change the line style is equal to solid so here you see before it was not given the line style line style was not followed by the r plus one so here the line was coming and the plus sign is also it is not visible here but if i give r o here you see you can see the dots present here but after that instead of r o i am giving r o but i have omitted this one okay one more thing is there so instead of solid if i give dashed so here see it is coming dashed line not the solid line line style that word can be used for giving the design of the line so if i remove this line style after the arrow then only the dots will come so it will look like a scattered values so before going to learn the scattered one we can know that if we write arrow without giving any line style in that case also we will get only the values without any joining lines so for scatter one only we will change this one from plot other things will be same instead of plot we will write scatter now run it see the same thing is coming as i am not giving any color so it is coming by default the blue one same as the command that we used in the line graph to draw the line graph with arrow without the line uh, without the line design line style so scatter is sometimes we need to show some value uh, which only we are uh, here we are using only the one set of value but if we compare some other things also if we want to join these things in that case we will use two sets of value like uh, uh, in this case only for one year uh, 
uh, four years or five years we are showing the price of the petrol some other things also if we want to join in that case or suppose two arrays are there if we use uh, like random function suppose we are using to ran random uh, random function in that case we can go for a scattered one also so this is the way to draw a scatter graph next we will learn using the matplotlib lib uh, for bar graph for bar graph we need same two sets of data we are using here the same uh, same uh, example year and price of data and here we will go for bar diagram so we will not use the scatter one we will use plt dot bar let's see here you see this the figure became bar so it is the year and this is the uh, the price of petrol in rupees we can uh, change the size also using that the same thing what was the it was plot size so we can use the plot size to increase the area of this bar diagram suppose we are going to give the population of say of a uh, particular state uh, any state suppose i am giving here one important thing in this at this point i want to show you you see here i am giving five value in the x variable and y variable there are four values let's see what will happen we will get shape mismatch objects cannot be broadcast to a single shape why because here there are five values and here there are four values so the value should be size should be same so this time you see uh, the population is coming like this it is very less let me change the value so that so here you see uh, it is decreasing now this is the bar diagram and bar diagram we can also give the uh, label name and here we are changing it from price of to population so it has been changed to population so now we will learn how to draw the bar diagram using pie plot so here you can see the figure uh, they are the red color figures are given in the x-axis it is given as days and y-axis it is weekly sales and the title is given as sales of the week and these are the day name monday tuesday like that so here you as you know the matplotlib.pyplot spl that is the common uh, we have to import this library for pyplot and uh, here we are using the numpy as uh, np to use the second set of data and first set of data that is x is being used as a list and there are six values and for these six values we are using this uh, array numpy that is with arrange function with six values and title has been given as sales of which which is reflected in here also and x sticks are for y y value y value is given as the six one so for that y uh, x sticks that is the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so that has been reflected here you can see and label has been given as x label as days and the y label as weekly sales and now only to uh, this one is uh, the bar diagram for diagram this bar pl dot bar y x color equal to r width equal to 0 0.25 so that is the y is this one uh, that one uh, for uh, this value six first one will be the x value that is the six days and x is the values that is the uh, amount the salesman has uh, uh, salesman uh, sales amount and color as it is uh, given as r earlier i have told what are the color attribute to be given for which one 
and the new attribute that is width I have given 0 0.25 that is the width of the bars okay so now when we run it then you have uh, seen that this one is coming and for that uh, for that we are uh, using the bar diagram so you can change the value as well as you can change the colors as well as you can use the x sticks values also different can, can be used for uh, after that we will see what will be the uh, range for different values suppose you are using uh, 10 values in that case range will be 10 or we can go directly for len function also that you have uh, already learned what is the len function how to get the len of the list that is len function and range will be within this one so this one instead of a range we can use np dot range of len y that also can x also can be used so this time we are going to uh, see here you see just first you see the first bar graph it is 0 y plus 0 0.00 it starts from the beginning one then next one will be sto started in the 0.25 position so here we have added y plus 0 0.25 so that it will display after 0 0.25 and then it is 0 0.75 that is 0 0.75 means it is from this area this area okay so now uh, there are uh, we have given this for this one which is uh, for all the graphs we can change this to small one also smaller one which will be changed then result you have seen it is shown in upper left and the x level it is given so salesman and uh, this is given weekly sales i can use it from one comma three so that it will start from 1 comma 1 to 3 so these are the data that is given shown here and this for the salesman and weekly sales we can change the weekly sales because it is not for three months we can name monthly three month sales as three sets of data so we can show it as three month sales so here you see it is changed to three month sales it will be x level actually i have here I will change it to Y and this is sales only. So X axis become 3 months sale and this one becomes sales amount. So it is very easy to draw the bar diagram with multiple range, multiple values. One more I will show you. So that is uh, using uh, the consider the reference. It is write a program to plot bars are from the medals won by top four countries and uh, we will make it visible separately so first two lines will be same that is matpol matplot lib pi plot that will be same numpy also same and uh, we will this time we will make the figure size using the figure here we will write tl dot figure so the parameters are figure size figure size we will give here is equal to within bracket we will give the length and the width so let me give it in comma hyphen width so after that i will change it from this values to different values so say i am giving here or taking a identifier medal is equal to a list of the medals that is you will start it from gold comma silver comma bronze that also to be included in quotation then one more we will write that is the total number of medals that is received by different countries so we will make it as total so this will be used as the level for this one x-axis and y-axis now we will take four separate list that is set of list say for india first the gold medal gold medal uh, i am giving here say 20 for silver it is say 50 then 50 and total will be 120 okay so you see in the medal uh, data set i am giving gold silver bronze to tell and for india i am giving this one now similarly i will change the value for different countries
change the name of the variables similarly one more so for that i am giving here the title is i am giving here mental chart uh, here the first one will be it will come from medal then we will give the first set of data first set of data that is for india it is wheat uh, color is taken as wheat will be taken as 0 0.5 only and label i am not giving this time because already here i am giving the variable names so instead of this one it will be it will be displayed after the india bar so it will be uh, let me for the second one i have to take one more variable that will get the range say x is equal to this time this value will be stored in the numpy array so we are taking the object as numpy so np <coughs> dot we are arranging the value that is the range that we will take this time i am showing you how to use the len len uh, function so length of we will use the length of the medal so uh, this time in the medal there are four data so the value will be four so here we will change it from y to x because x is getting the value and it will be after the india value it will take uh, it will move 0.25 or let me check using 1.15 and after that we will change it to x plus it will be like 30 double value i am giving here 30 that is the equal this one so previously we used the index position but this time we are going to use only the identifier name then it will be same color is same then one more for Japan. So this time it will be plus 15. So it will be 45. And we will change it from Australia to So listen again we are giving here upper left y level it will be country x level will be country here you see gold is coming silver coming and this is for and others are the country that is the number of this one total this is for bronze medal for three country this is for silver medal for three country and gold medal for three country if we want to give the legend in that case we have to add the label here so what will be the label in this case it will be for the first level it is India for the second one it will be Australia third one similarly here both are giving b that's why it is coming like that so here you see now it's looking good uh, for gold india red color australia blue color and japan with this color so it is now distinctly we can see so it is so easy to use python for drawing different type of chart so we have learned line graph scattered bar bar diagram 
and next we will learn pie chart also next we will learn how to draw the pie chart that is pie pie diagram that is also a very important one and function is used for drawing this pie chart that is pie followed by the first bracket and uh, this function plots a single data range only it will calculate the share of the individual elements of the data range being plotted versus the whole of the data range so uh, as you know the shape of a pie chart is always oval uh, and we can uh, change it but here we can change it to circle by using the axis uh, axis function a x i s followed by the parenthesis of pie plot so if we use this sending equal to equal in that case it will be shown as the uh, as a circle only axis for that it is a module that is a axis say suppose i am taking this one and uh, i am take uh, using this value set of value uh, just i am changing it to pie so you can see here the pie chart is coming with different color and uh, this uh, by default it is coming the colors are coming by de default so uh, you know how to get the individual percentage that is by dividing the total one with this one into 100 now we may give some labels for this one suppose i am changing the value from this to population say or uh, not population it will be a um, big number so i am going for say marks of for average marks of four section of a particular class so average mark suppose the for the a section it is 90 for b section say 89 for c section 78 for d section say 67 say we have to give the pictorial result in pictorial form using pie chart so for a particular class say there are four sections and what will be the average mark of that particular section so it will be we can take it as mark instead of mark we uh, x i can take it mark because as we know all of us that the identifier name should be it is uh, it should be taken as so that we can mm, have the idea what type of value we are storing in that particular identifier and for the second one i am taking section uh, section is uh, equal to again one more data set say a b c d all should be separated by comma now title must be given we are giving the title for the chart so we will give it should be always case sensitive so you must take care of this object name pl dot uh, title is always used in all the search we can use title only and the value i will give average mark of four sections of class intermediate then we will directly give the pi function and within uh, the parameters are the name of the data identifier that is taken for storing the data so in this case it is marks and followed by the labels label here we will give uh, labels equal to section okay so section um, sorry it will be scc uh, section whatever value here whatever yet yeah, here it is given that only to be given so now we will show here it is uh, shown in the prefix in the 17 line red color that means there is a mistake that means error is there so what is the error here you see i have given scc uh, where s is the capital letter so as you know the identifier are case sensitive so we cannot give 
this one immediately it has gone so in the drag down menu years you can see SEC is there because already I have given taken the SEC as this one now you see the change here you see all the levels are coming here A B C and D and here average mark of four section of class intermediate that is also displaying so percentage we can show the formatted slice percentage to this one also for to view the percentage of share in a pie chart we need to add an argument that is auto pct auto picked with, with a format string such as percent 1.1 f percent percent so f percent percent that means that is for decimal number floating point so for that labels equal to section i am giving here there i will add the percentage uh, at the value within quotation mark we have to give that is percent one for the decimal uh, integer part after that we have to put one decimal point then f for floating value two percentage that is for two decimal numbers here you see the percentage has been shown but in this case i have shown it auto auto how to show the percentage in this over the pie chart but in our example it is not required to show any percentage so no need to add this part it is only for learning purpose i have shown it so for different example we can give it like uh, for uh, uh, using this autopic function so format string uh, you can use uh, percentage 5d sub in that case 5 will be the width size and for a 5 percent 5 i i will be for integer part so in that case the formatting will be given suppose percent 5 i then if suppose 123 the first two places will be shown blank till now we have learned how to plot some chart in python using pyplot and again i am repeating that pyplot that is a module and it comes under matplotlib library and for that we have to import it in our program and if we want to store the generated data in a uh, in an array then numpy also to be imported so that's all for this module again i will come with a different topic from python thank you have a nice day